for the warmest December Baltimore's ever had. We are now transitioning into a more typical January pattern and it's the coldest we've had here in quite some time. As a matter of fact, temperatures will drop into the teens tonight. Wind chills will be down in the single digits and that's going to make this the coldest night we've had since we went all the way down to six degrees back on the seventh day of March toward the end of last winter. So yeah, it's it's been a while since we felt the chill like we're going to feel tonight. In fact, today's high of 37 and the morning low of 25 makes this the first colder than normal day overall for average temperatures since the 20th of December. So it's been a few weeks before uh, since the chill's been here. Record high on this day, though, was a 70 degree day in January of 2000 and the record cold four single digit cold back in 1918. It's already down to 25 Westminster, 26 in Elkton, freezing on the boardwalk down at Ocean City, 20s out in Maryland, uh, Western Maryland, and then you find uh, a very cold 14 degree reading at Oakland and Garrett County, plus you factor in the winds. They're very strong for a good part of the day, gusting 25 to 30 miles an hour, driving the wind chill down to making it feel like zero out at Oakland. Temperatures are feeling like the teens on your skin out in the northern and western suburbs. So again, if you have to be out and about tonight, you do want to bundle up, want to bring the pets in, uh, make sure they have some water too, and it is going to be cold tonight for sure. Now the cold coming through, as we showed you, it has generated a few flurries around. We're picking up the stronger uh, echo returns on radar near the moisture of the bay, so parts of the eastern shore, and as that cold air funnels down the bay and picks up moisture, some uh, bay effect snow flurries are uh, occurring, especially down there near Easton, down toward Cambridge, and all the way down toward St. Mary City, perhaps down across the bay. So watch for a few scattered flurries uh, early tonight, then clearing and quite cold. The lows tonight will range from 12 to 20, but when you factor in those winds that are still going to be gusty, it'll feel like anywhere from 0 to 10 throughout the overnight hour. So very cold night ahead of us for sure. And the high pressure system pumping in the chill, well, it'll hang around tomorrow. Those winds are coming right off of Hudson Bay, eastern Canada, down through the eastern sections of the country, and all the way down into the Carolinas, where it's only in the 30s in central North Carolina right now. That'll gradually move out, though, and we are actually talking about a slow warming trend. We get toward the second half of the week, going into the weekend, temperatures may well climb back toward the 50 degree mark. Tomorrow should be a sunny, cold day, very cold in the morning. Then sunshine will warm us back into the 30s. Another chilly uh, morning on Wednesday morning. And then gradually, as moisture returns and the temperatures climb, there'll be a rain chance toward the end of the week. But again, it'll be rain because by then, temperatures will be back above normal. 32 to 37 tomorrow. Northwest winds not quite as strong as today, but still a bit of a breeze. So a wind chill to factor in tomorrow as well. On the bay, there's a small craft advisory, waves of 2 to 3 feet. Water temperatures on the bay still in the 40s to near 50 degrees. Mountain forecast, sunny skies for a couple of days. Slow warming trend should be in the 40s midweek. Eastern shore locations, 30s tomorrow, but then warmer on Wednesday with sunny skies. Coastal areas down around Ocean City. Temperatures cold tomorrow, but you notice the warming trend mid 40s with sunshine by Wednesday. The Insta Weather Plus 7 day forecast for Baltimore, a breezy 35 tomorrow, but we hit 40 late in the day Wednesday, 45 Thursday. Showers are likely Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but look at the warmer temperatures right up around 50 for the weekend.